And welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence, asking forgiveness of my sins so that my prayer can enter your holy throne. Father, please forgive me of anything that I have done that offends you or those that you love, anything in my life that is not clean or that does not please you. Please take it away, Lord. Wash me white as snow with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, I ask that you will open up our hearts and our minds for the devotional that you have in store for us today. Allow us to understand what it is that you are trying to teach us. Allow us to make it tangible and applicable in our own life. Father God, please be with us and guide us and direct us. Be with those who are hurting right now, who are struggling, who are fighting battles, Lord, that no one else knows. I ask you, Father God, a very special blessing upon them. Show yourself to them in a mighty way. Make yourself known to them so that they have no doubts that you are King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, thank you for being our refuge and our strength, our fortress. Thank you, Father God, for being righteous and faithful. Thank you for being our advocate. Thank you for being our comforter. Thank you for being who you are. These things I ask in your Son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Forgiveness. It was written by Juan Daniel de la Vega and translated by Carlos Sunza. Our biblical base comes from Matthew chapter 18, verses 31 through 35. So says the word of God. So when his fellow servants saw what had been done, they were very grieved, 
and came and told their master all that had been done. Then his master, after he had called him, said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt because you begged me. Should you not also have had compassion on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And his master was angry and delivered him to the torturers until he should pay all that was due to him. So my heavenly Father also will do to you if each of you from his heart does not forgive his trespasses. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. The dictionary defines the word forgiveness as follows. Remission of the penalty of a deserved punishment for an offense received or an outstanding debt or obligation. How can we forgive others as Christ forgave us? When Paul says, as Christ forgave you, he is synthesizing in one phrase the enormous work of God in Christ on our behalf. Forgiveness began in the heart of God and materialized through Christ's sacrifice. Through justification, God declares us guiltless before him and forgives us. When we understand forgiveness through the filter of justification, there is no arguments left for us not to forgive. That is, if we have received such forgiveness and God himself has declared us righteous before him, despite our willful offense, then we have more than enough reasons to forgive others. God's forgiveness and justification are free. The enormous cost for these was paid by his son on the cross. Therefore, having received forgiveness and justification, we can forgive as Christ has forgiven us. Amen. My brothers and sisters, lately we've had a couple different devotionals about forgiveness, and the fact remains the same. We are called to forgive, because if we do not forgive, our Heavenly Father in Heaven will not forgive us. Forgiveness is not just a feeling. It is an action. It is a decision. Once you forgive an offense, you do not automatically forget it. We are humans. We cannot forgive and forget. Only God forgives and forgets. But we do not have that capability. We will always remember the offense. Sometimes forgiveness means making that decision consciously time and time again. That's why Jesus said, forgive 70 times 7. If we were supposed to forgive and forget, he wouldn't have to tell us to forgive 70 times 7. Sometimes that 70 times 7 is in the same day. Sometimes it's over a lifetime. But forgiveness is a choice. We choose to forgive. And what that means is we give up our right to take revenge, to get justice of the offense that was done against us. My brothers and sisters, forgiveness is more about us than it is about the one who offended us. If we refuse to forgive, we hold on to that bitterness. We hold on to that offense and we become bitter and angry and not a happy person at all. My brothers and sisters, forgiveness is very hard to do. It is easier said than done for sure. But make that decision to consciously forgive the offenses done against you. Now, if you are having problems forgiving, if you are struggling with something, I encourage you today to go on your knees or however you come before the Lord and tell the Lord exactly what is going on in your heart. Be honest with him. Tell him, Lord, I am so angry at this person. I am having trouble forgiving. And you know what? I don't even want to forgive, but I want to only because I'm trying to be obedient, but I really don't feel like it. You know what? An honest conversation like that with God, he is going to help you. He is going to give you the strength. Sometimes talking it out with our heavenly father gives us that strength, that resolve 
to do what he is commanding us to do. I promise you, the word of God is very clear. God is going to give you the strength, the courage, and the tools that you need to follow his command. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. I want a heart that forgives, a heart full of love, one with compassion just like yours above, one that overcomes evil with goodness and love, like it never happened, never holding a grudge. Want a heart that forgives, that lives and lets live, one that keeps loving over and over again, one that men can offend because your word is within, one that loves without price like you, Lord Jesus Christ, want a heart that loves everybody, even my enemies. Wanna love like you, be like you, just like you did. I want a heart that forgives. Want a heart that forgives when the ones that are closest that I've known the Lord. so hard to speak about it to anyone just like your son i give up my right to hold it against them with hatred and style i want a heart that loves everybody even my enemies i want to love like and be like you just like you did i want to walk like it's all like just like you did want to be like you live like just like you did mm, cause a heart that forgives is the heart that will live totally free from the pain of the past and the heart that lets go is the heart that will know so much freedom. Lord, I want to let it go. Hey, hallelujah. God, I need to let it go. Lord, it's been holding me back. I don't want it. Amen. What a beautiful song. And now, my brothers and sisters, I invite you to check out our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we work through the book of Judges. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <music>